So the first question today we are going to do is India shares land borders with dash countries. The option here are six, seven, eight or nine. So what do you think? I mean, can you calculate how many borders does it share with? Does it share six borders or seven borders? Actually, India shares seven, I mean, its border, land border with seven different countries. Here we are talking about very particularly the land borders, not the other borders, because we share other borders with other countries also. But land borders we share with seven countries and let's cal count them. Uh, uh, let's say we start from the top. The first one is your Afghanistan. Then it's Pakistan. Then uh, we have China. We have Nepal. We have uh, Bhutan. We have Bangladesh and Myanmar in the east. So these are the seven um, countries with which we share our land border. The next uh, question says, dash is an equatorial crops. So uh, do we know what are equatorial crops? Equatorial crops are those crops which grow around the equator. We know that if we talk about the earth, we have equator. In the center and then we have is uh, your tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn right so the crop are equatorial crops which go grow around the equator so the question is one of these crop is not an equatorial crop so uh, if you look into the options the options are coconut rubber oil palm and banana so out of all of them the correct answer is banana Banana is not an equatorial crop, but rather it is a tropical crop, right? It grows around this tropic of cancer, uh, sorry, tropic of cancer and Capricorn. So banana is a tropical crop, not an equatorial crop. The next question is, uh, Grito Garbo is the name of name associated with journalism, literature, acting or classical dance so first of all i think you should know who is grito garbo grito garbo is an uh, sweden born swedish uh, born american actress and uh, she has worked during 1920s and 1930s so if she's an actress so that automatically it says that she is associated with acting so grito garbo is an actress so the option is she is associated with acting the next question says which expert committee which expert committee has been constituted by the niti ayog right we are talking about the niti ayog to provide a major thrust to job creations by enhancing india's export so niti ayog is a you can say a committee which decides which was founded after the planning commission's absorption and this decides about the future plan what to be done in the you know five year next five year plans so they uh, appointed a committee of experts to enhance the uh, job um, in the india's export sector and it was appointed under mr rajiv kumar the option is d Rajiv Kumar to enhance the job creations in India's export and that we can only do when your export increases then only you can have more job opportunities. The next question says this was the first planet in the solar system to be visited by a spacecraft. Here we have different planets like Mercury, Venus, Mars and Jupiter. So the question is, this was the first planet in the solar system which was visited by a spacecraft and the option here is, um, we have is D, that is your Jupiter. This was uh, basically uh, started in 19, 1973 by NASA and an automated spacecraft was first sent there. And recently also in July 2016, another uh, spacecraft was sent there. So, so far there has been eight or nine spacecrafts which have been sent um, to Jupiter. But the first one was in 1973 by NASA. So,
So the next question says dash is a correct set of two official languages of the United Nations. We know that uh, in United Nations we have uh, different different languages like English and uh, we have French and all these languages are accepted but here they have given a, I mean a set of two two languages so both of them has to be the correct ones which are accepted which are uh, you know uh, there accepted by the UN. Hindi and Chinese, Arabic and Chinese, Japanese and Chinese, Chinese and <laughs> Japanese. So in all of them, if we see, we have Chinese, Chinese, Chinese and Chinese here. Here in the first one, it is Hindi. Second is Arabic, third is Japanese and very smartly in the fourth one, they have interchanged. Like here it is Japanese and Chinese, here they have done is Chinese and Japanese. So uh, here the option is B, that is Arabic and Chinese. Now why? Because Japanese is only spoken in Japan and Hindi is mostly spoken in, Hin in India or uh, some parts of the other places like Nepal, Nepal, Nepalese can also speak uh, Hindi. But Arabic is a wide, uh, widely spoken language in the Middle Eastern countries. So it is Arabic and Chinese. This is the correct option B. The next says Kardungla mountain pass is located in. Here we are talking about Kardungla. I think in the recent past you would have heard about this name Kardungla because there has been a lot of issue between India and China on this pass uh, because China has uh, laid its stake on this path, uh, pass and India says that it is India's uh, passage, it, India's pass. So Kardungla mountain pass is located in Jammu and Kashmir. It is in the Ladakh region, I mean, uh, of uh, Jammu and Kashmir. We know that Jammu and Kashmir is divided into three parts, Jammu, Kashmir and Leh Ladakh. So this Kardungla mountain pass comes in Leh Ladakh region. So the option is C, that's Jammu and Kashmir. So here we have a passage and then we have to... Uh, look for the best statement a significant compassionate outcome of the technology is the greatest dignity greater dignity and value that it imparts to human labor right in the highly developed society there is no essential difference there is no difference between brahmins and uh, Shudras, Muslims, Christians or Hindus, they are equally useful and hence equally valuable for the industrial society. Individual productivity fixes the size of the paychecks and this fixes social status. So here they are talking about the uh, something about the social status status in the society but because of the technological development so the question is the passage best supports this statement that now let's see which statement is supporting this passage the first statement says technology decides individual social status the second says caste and religions are man-made i mean in this passage it's nothing talked about this one so we are going to cross this one Human labor has dignity and value. Uh, yes, they talked about something like uh, human labor here in the second line, greater dignity and value that is imparted to the human labor. Here it is talking about this. So we can still consider this one and of course this one. The third is all individuals irrespective of caste and creed are born equal. But very sorry to say, but uh, this option is not mentioned here. It's not talked about. So these two statements, the first one and the third one, hold a bit importance, relevance to this um, passage. But if you talk about the first statement with the last statement here, that the uh, equality that is there for in the industrial society, individual productivity fixes the size of the paycheck. That means your status, your standard, you get it with your paychecks, paychecks with the money or the salary that you earn. So the correct option is A, that is technology decides individual's social status. Of course, 
it decides you know we talked about the technology because without with the technology it is industrialization in the industrial society so in the industrial society technology basically decides the individual's social status that is the correct option out here the next question is dash is not an example of the complementary goods complementary goods kya hote complementary jo aapko ek complement ke taur pe ek free cheez mil jati hai to yahan par there are a lay i mean a group of two two things given here so hame ye dekhna hai ki which of them is not an example of a complementary things the first is printers एंड इंक कार्ट्रेज जब हम प्रिंटर लेते हैं तो उसके साथ हमें इंक कार्ट्रेज फ्री में मिलता है कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री मिलता है टी एंड शुगर लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आपने रेस्टोरेंट में या जाकर आपने चाय लिया है तो उसके साथ शुगर आपको एक्स्ट्रा कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री मिलता है मोबाइल फोन्स एंड सिम कार्ड्स बहुत सारी कंपनीज मोबाइल फोन्स के साथ सिम कार्ड्स आपको कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री देती हैं टी एंड कॉफी Ah uh, no, I don't think tea and coffee आपको complimentary मिलता है For example, I uh, मैं CCD सी डी में गई और मैंने कॉफ़ी ऑर्डर किया तो मुझे साथ में चाय तो नहीं मिलेगी ना कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री हाँ कॉफ़ी के साथ मुझे एक्स्ट्रा मिल्क मिल सकता है मुझे एक्स्ट्रा शुगर मिल सकती है बट नॉट टी या चाय लूँगी तो कॉफ़ी नहीं मिलेगा सो द ऑप्शन इज डी टी एंड कॉफ़ी इज नॉट एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड्स The next question says the invention of swarm intelligence has been possible because of we are talking about the invention of swarm intelligence ye kahan se aaya uh phenology uh phrenology bionomics or bionics so the option here is bionics so bionics hota kya hai first let me tell you that Bionics is the application of biological method and systems found in the nature to study and design um of engineering systems and modern technology. So basically bionics is the application of biological method and systems found in the nature to the study and design of engineering systems and of modern technology. So swarm intelligence has come from there. Next question is Dash has been a uh, recently named as the world's biggest private equity firm. Here we are talking about world's biggest private equity firm, right? The gr- options given here are Aditya Birla Group, Blackstone Group, Goldman Sachs and General Atlantic. The option here is B that is Blackstone group now blackstone group um it is a real estate investor and it has around 100 million square feet portfolio in india so the correct option is b blackstone group has been recently named as the world biggest private equity firm which of the following statement is false so we are going to look for a false statement rice is a commercial crop in odisha this is the first statement the second is coffee is an important plantation crop in karnataka third is a groundnut is a major kharif crop in gujarat and the last one is meghalaya is a major pineapple producing state of india So let's look into one by one. Meghalaya, yes, that's true. It is a major pineapple producing state in India. It produces nearly eight percent of the total pineapple produced in the country. Groundnut is a major kharif crop in Gujarat. Yes, Gujarat. Uh, we have black soil in Gujarat, which is very suitable for cotton and groundnut, and it is a major kharif crop in Gujarat. uh coffee yes coffee is an important plantation crop in karnataka we have lot of plantation crops like uh, we have rubber we have tea and coffee which are very uh, popular in karnataka and if you talk about the rice rice is a commercial crop in odisha ah uh, not really because rice is a commercial crop in punjab why because the land i mean the farm size in um, Punjab is much bigger than that in the Odisha. 
in Orissa, the land size, I mean, the farm land sizes are very small. And thus, they don't use or then they don't have uh, rice, they don't grow rice as a commercial crop. It is a subsistence crop in Odisha, not a commercial crop. So the option which is here is A. The option, the statement which is false is rice is a commercial crop in Odisha. It is not a commercial crop, but it is a, subsist a subsistence crop in Odisha. <coughs> the next question is, Dash was the first paper currency issued by RBI. You know that what is RBI, right? It's the Reserve Bank of India. So which was the first paper currency we are talking about? So it, was it a 1 rupee note, 2 rupee note, 5 rupee note or a 100 rupee note? So the correct option is C, that is 5 rupee note that was issued in... Um, 1938 basically by um, the Reserve Bank of India in January 1938 I can say and this time this uh, had I mean on this note like right now we have a picture of Mahatma Gandhi but this five rupee note had the portrait here in the center of King George King George sixth King George sixth it had the portrait of King George sixth on it before this i mean only the currency was used in the terms of coins and not in terms of the note so the first note which was paper currency which was issued by rbi was a five rupee note issued in january 1938 the next uh, says this something i mean out of these four options it is not present in animal cell it is not present in animal cell. Uh, cell walls, mitochondria, uh, ribosomes, or cytoplasm. The option here is cell walls. Now, what are cell walls? We know that if we talk about the branches or the stem of the plant, they are very hard from, I mean, they have a very hard here. That is because they have a cell wall. But in animals, we don't have cell walls. So cell wall is not present in animal cells. Now, here are the directions for the questions that we are going to do is question number 56 to 60. So first, let's look into the direction. Select one sentence to complete the given statements in the form of small paragraphs. We have some small paragraphs and we have to uh, complete those statements. For each item, you are given the frame of three to four, uh, three sentences paragraph. The middle sentence has been removed. Three positive possibilities, fillers can be one, two or three, are provided in this gap. Like there will be a paragraph, there will be a gap and then again continuation of paragraphs. So we have to fill in with the one, two or three option. Any one of them or more than one or two or none of them might fit. So the completed statement must be a compact and a well-organized presentation of the ideas indicated by the first and the third sentence. Select the appropriate answer options from A to D and indicate it. So let's look into the questions now. The first question says the new telecom companies take a radical approach to product development. And the last line says they think instead of what customers want and then develop the needed technology. The options given are the invest uh, very heavily in state of art technology. They do not really primar uh, rely primarily on the stimulated study product uh, acceptability or they do not invent to product uh, invent a product with old technology and ask marketing to sell it. The blanks can be filled by only A, only B, only uh, third one or one or two. Now let's look into the passage again. The new telecom companies take a radical approach to product development, right? They think instead, now here is something contradictory of that. They think instead of what customers want and then develop the needed technology. So here the option will be the new telecom companies take a radical approach to product development. They invest very heavily in the state of art technology. Instead, I mean, they think instead of what customers want. 
I mean, they don't rely on the customer's thing, but they try to do it themselves without the customer's thing. So option is A. The next question says, the flight to preserve the environment calls for good signs. We have to, you know, take a flight to preserve the environment and uh, we call it as a good science and the third line says there is no point in environmental science reports that gets locked away in a secret government files so the options are strong financial support from the government is essential here we see there is no point right in environmental science report to get locked away here we are talking about the secret government files right the second option is the voluntary sector too should take bold initiatives so they are talking about the voluntary sector involvement this implies a culture of openness and transparency not just funding so let's see what can be the option so it can be like only one only two only three or one or Three. The flight to the fight to preserve the environment calls for good science. This implies a culture of openness and transparency and not just funding. There is no point in environmental science reports that get locked. So here we are talking about this one. So it's option C here that's only third we are talking about the culture of openness so that the reports are not just uh, locked but we work on that right the next question says i am pleased that you have published my article managing publicity the second sentence says as i have used company material this omission has caused me some embarrassment so here they're talking about some kind of omission omission means when you uh, leave something right so omission means to omit something to leave something so it has caused some kind of embarrassment so we are talking about a book which was published and there has been some material which has been omitted so let's look into the option however you have failed to indicate my company affiliation along with my name Second is the editor has done a good job as shortening my rather long original text. Third one is, but there is no reference to my position as the HRD head at AA Consultants. But here they're talking about, he said that as I have used company material, this omission. So they have used some kind of company material and they have omitted something. So the option here is, this one that is option a only one i am pleased that you have published my article managing publicity uh, however you have failed to indicate my company's affiliation along with my name as i have used the company's material this omission has caused me some embarrassment so he has used the company's material for the publicity and all that and the uh, publishing house or the editor he has omitted the company's name or company's uh, credentials in that case so it has caused him an embarrassment in the organization next says the teachers and the uh, professionals imparting technical training are use speech writing and diagrams in various combinations next says responding to this the technical education council has a uh, rec uh, recommended a course on communication theory as common core item the options are yet technical students receive no instructions in the theory and use the information structures in communication soon interactive videos will be a common feature of the technical education steadily failing costs have brought sophisticated information technology to the doors of the typical classrooms so here the option is going to be option number c that is only third one so let's look into that teachers and professionals imparting technical training use speech writing and diagrams in various combinations 
Steadily falling cost, failing costs have brought sophisticated information technology to the rows of the typical classrooms. Responding to this, the Technical Education Council has recommended a course on communication theory as a common core item for everyone. The next question says, most people have certain prejudice against certain types of styles of writing. Prejudice means they are not very comfortable or they don't like it. But there are common and meaningful modes of communication that we need to study and understand right so let's look into the options option number one says for example popular science and children fictions are considered unintellectual many people they think that um, science uh, fictions or the children's fiction are unintellectual some of us would rather uh, you know say that sunday magazines journalism and advertisements as cheap and even improper and a great analyst have always been a source of inspiration to the young writers. So I think here uh, option one and two can be the fitted one because it says most people have certain prejudice against certain type of styles of writing, right? Here only in this and this they are talking of some kind of writings, but there are common and meaningful modes of communication that we need to study and understand. So here they are talking about science and children fictions and here they are talking about some kind of Sunday magazines where they have some kind of journalism or advertisement that is used. So the option is option number D which says 1 and 2. Now here are the directions for the questions that we are going to do is question number 56 to 60. So first let's look into the direction. Select one sentence to complete the given statements in the form of small paragraphs. We have some small paragraphs and we have to uh, complete those statements. For each item you are given the frame of three to four, uh, three sentences paragraph. The middle sentence has been removed. Three positive possibilities, fillers can be one, two or three are provided in this gap like there will be a paragraph there will be a gap and then again continuation of paragraphs so we have to fill in with the one two or three option any one of them or more than one or two or none of them might fit so the completed statement must be a compact and a well organized presentation of the ideas indicated by the first and the third sentence select the appropriate answer options from a to d and indicate so let's look into the questions now. The first question says the new telecom companies take a radical approach to product development. And the last line says they think instead of what customers want and then develop the needed technology. The options given are the invest uh, very heavily in state of art technology they do not really primar uh, rely primarily on the stimulated study product uh, acceptability or they do not invent to product uh, invent a product with old technology and ask marketing to sell it the blanks can be filled by only a only b only uh, third one or one or now let's look into the passage again. The new telecom companies take a radical approach to product development, right? They think instead, now here is something contradictory of that. They think instead of what customers want and then develop the needed technology. So here the option will be the new telecom companies take a radical approach to product development. They invest very heavily in the state of art technology instead i mean they think instead of what customers want i mean they don't rely on the customers thing but they try to do it themselves without the customers thing so option is a the next question says the flight to preserve the environment calls for good signs we have to you know take a flight to preserve the environment and uh, we call it as a good science and the third line says there is no point in environmental science reports that gets locked away in a secret government files 
So the options are strong financial support from the government is essential. Here we see there is no point, right, in environmental science report to get locked away. Here we are talking about the secret government files, right? The second option is the voluntary sector too should take bold initiatives. So they are talking about the voluntary sector involvement. This implies a culture of openness and transparency, not just funding. So let's see what can be the option. So it can be like only one, only two, only three or one or three. The flight to the fight to preserve the environment calls for good science. This implies a culture of openness and transparency and not just funding. There is no point in environmental science reports that get logged. So here we are talking about this one. So it's option C here. That's only third. We are talking about the culture of openness so that the reports are not just uh, logged. But we work on that. The next question says, I am pleased with you. The next question says, I am pleased that you have published my article, Managing Publicity. The second sentence says, as I have used company material, this omission has caused me some embarrassment. So here they're talking about some kind of omission Omission means when you uh, leave something, right? So omission means to omit something, to leave something. So it has caused some kind of embarrassment. So we are talking about a book which was published and there has been some material which has been omitted. So let's look into the option. However, you have failed to indicate my company affiliation along with my name. Second is the editor has done a good job as shortening my rather long original text. Third one is, but there is no reference to my position as the HRD head at AA Consultants. But here they're talking about, he said that as I have used company material, this omission. So they have used some kind of company material and they have omitted something. So the option here is this one, that is option A, only one. I am pleased that you have published my article, Managing Publicity. Uh, however, you have failed to indicate my company's affiliation along with my name. As I have used the company's material, this omission has caused me some embarrassment. So he has used the company's material for the publicity and all that. And the uh, publishing house or the editor, he has omitted the company's name or company's uh, credentials in that case. So it has caused him an embarrassment in the organization. Next says, the teachers and the uh, professionals imparting technical training are use speech, writing and diagrams in various combinations. Next says, responding to this, the Technical Education Council has a, uh, recommended a course on communication theory as common core item. The options are yet technical students receive no instructions in the theory and use the information structures in communication. Soon interactive videos will be a common feature of the technical education. Steadily failing costs have brought sophisticated information technology to the doors of the typical classrooms. So here the option is going to be option number C that is only third one. So let's look into that. Teachers and professionals imparting technical training use speech, writing and diagrams in various combinations. Steadily falling cost, failing costs have brought sophisticated information technology to the rows of the typical classrooms. Responding to this, the Technical Education Council has recommended a course on communication theory as a common core item for everyone. 
The next question says, most people have certain prejudice against certain types of styles of writing. Prejudice means they are not very comfortable or they don't like it. But there are common and meaningful modes of communication that we need to study and understand, right? So let's look into the options. Option number one says, for example, popular science and children fictions are considered unintellectual. Many people, they think that um, science uh, fictions or the children's fiction are unintellectual. Some of us would rather, uh, you know, say that Sunday magazines, journalism and advertisements as cheap and even improper. And a great analyst have always been a source of inspiration to the young writers. So I think here uh, option one and two can be the fitted one because it says most people have certain prejudice against certain type of styles of writing right here only in this and this they are talking of some kind of writings but there are common and meaningful modes of communication that we need to study and understand so here they are talking about science and children fictions and here they are talking about some kind of sunday magazines where they have some kind of journalism or advertisement that is used so the option is option number d which says one and 